Okay, guys, let me show you what I did. There's the escape. Setting out my side doors. My hose reel back there. A little giant heat is mounted right there. And there's my CRB sitting there, my wall vacuum cleaner. If you notice on the generator, I'll climb in here. This cord here is what came with the generator. It's a big ass, well, it's at least 10 gauge cord, plugs in here. It's pretty long, so I routed that around the side here. And you can see it runs all along the top of the van. It's got twist ties on it. Comes around, it's dropped onto the cage of the van. And I have it to where it runs right here. Now this has, this is the other end of it, right here. And it has four plugs. Two are color-coded red, two are color-coded blue. So that way I'm, if I plug one plug into a red and one plug into a blue, I'm drawing power equally from both sides of the generator. Now Mighty gives you two 50 foot cords for this, which is 12 gauge wire. If I'm running this from the generator and using this, I'm using this cord, which is probably at least 15 feet or more, plus 50 feet of wire, which is unnecessary. So I made my own cords. Let's show right here. This is 10 gauge wire. And as you can see, I didn't make them very long. They're pretty short. So, what I do is I just plug them in there, like so. And then the other ends, right here, just go to right there, one in the red, One goes in the red and the other one goes in the blue side. And that's what I end up with. So, works out good. I've been using it like that for a couple days now. And it's working out pretty good. Usually I leave them plugged in to, the gener to this generator cord. Which I'll do. And the ones on the, so the ones on the machine, I don't leave them in. I just take them out and drape them over somewhere. I'll just drop them over there. <clears throat> you also notice the frame that the escape is mounted on has a bar over here. Well, it turns out to be a pretty good spot to hang some spray bottles. That's what I do. Anyway, I also picked up one of these, so I can put it here if I want it to drain the fresh water tank. And actually when I pull a handle, it hits outside the van, doesn't get inside the van. But I could stick a bucket under there. Or, in the case of emergency, and I had to drain the waste tank if the pump out crapped out on me or something like that. Well, I can stick that there and stick a bucket and still drain and get to a job if I had to. So that's why I got that. And that's it for now. I'll make some more videos, uh, Later.